<laughs> Listen, AD, you were kind enough to join us in the post-game show the other night, so I'm not sure if you got a chance to get a selfie with Jamie Foxx in the locker room because I know you heard he gave the post-game victory speech. And how ironic how he knows Jose. I don't know if you know the story, but Jamie mentioned they used to hoop. They used to kind of just play pickup ball in Atlanta together when Jose was at Georgia Tech. And here he is courtside rooting for Jose in an Alvarado jersey. Jersey helping chant his name. My, how that comes full circle. It's amazing to me. The, the, the story of Jose Alvarado to me, the, the it just continues to grow, and, it, and it's it's warranted. If we go all the way back to November and the story of what he went through and, and, and how far the two-way two contract, do I deserve to be here? Should I be here? To go from a two-way contract to not knowing if you're going to be on this team moving forward to 18,000 people screaming your name. Like, come on, man. You can't script this. Mm. And I'll tell you the thing about Jose. He's relatable. He is relatable. You know, he, he's not incredibly athletic. He's not six foot nine, 250, 260 like LeBron. He's not seven foot and built like a statue like Giannis Antetokounmpo. You know, you're talking about a guy who's six feet, 5'11", yeah, not and he's six all feet. heart. With one of the cutest daughters if in the that, world. Not six feet. <laughs> yes, right. If that, does not, if that does not, like, really reflect what New Orleans is all about, you know what I mean? Like, there are certain players that just reflect what this city represents. Jose is perfect. There's a reason that they've taken to him. Because I know there are many people in this city that can look at Jose Alvarado and see themselves. Not in the physical sense, but in the heart sense, in the work ethic sense. This is a blue-collar team that is representing this city extremely well. This is an easy team to fight for. This is an easy team to get behind because they're an underdog. Right now, the Pelicans are playing with house money. Mm -hmm. They ain't supposed to be here. We all know mm -hmm. that.